this is the best one. We got the Wily Coyote with the jetpack. Oh my god. <laughs> What up, Red Pack? It's your boy Marcus here, back with another video. I hope you guys are having an amazing day here, and if you guys aren't, you know the drill. I believe I can fly. Flip. No, that, that was like kind of weak. Do you remember that part at the end when like the chorus kicked in and like, I believe I can fly. Yeah, that, that's some heat. Ryan, hit that part. That's what I'm talking about. Man, R. Kelly knows how to do it. Well, yeah, he sure did. I mean, once you can fly, one doesn't know their human bounds. Yeah, or legal bounds. Yeah. But anyway, guys, today we are doing a video on one of my favorite movies of all time, and that is Space Jam. And if you guys don't know, on this channel, I collect absolutely everything Nickelodeon, early 2000s, and late 90s related. But on today's video, we are specifically diving into that late 90s category because actually it's like mid-90s, 96, we got Space Jam. So in this box over here, we have the original meal toys that came out of McDonald's in 1996. Because on this show, we've opened up a lot of different meal toys, so I felt like we had to do this one at some point. So we have all these right here. We're not going to spend too much time on them because we're going to go through them. So that is the 19... My dog is also from 1999. She's like, oh, I remember peeing on that. <laughs> so we have the 1999 set right here. That's what we're going to be opening, and we'll play a little clip from the 1999 trailer. And the world's greatest athlete, Michael Jordan teams up with the world's best loved cartoon character, Bugs Bunny. Why was it like marketed like a horror movie? It was really intense, wasn't it? I hear this eerie sound they played when they got near Jordan. Like, what the heck? But I not mean, just it was that. the world was at stake. <laughs> In the movie, it was the Monstars versus the Toons, which was the Looney Tunes, and also Jordan. So if the Monstars won, then they got Jordan. Also, for some reason, they were going to enslave the Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the stakes were really high. That's happened in 1996. But all these years later, we have an even greater athlete. Uh -huh. Damn, a lot of people in the comments are like, <laughs> <laughs> I opened my eyes wide and I'm like, okay. <laughs> we have an even greater athlete. I'm just saying, one of them was sick. Six and bald. One of them is a six foot eight and got implants. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you got money. All right. <laughs> and so LeBron, obviously everybody has their own opinion on who's a better athlete, LeBron or Michael Jordan. In my opinion, I'm, a, I'm an LBJ fan. If you grew up in the 80s, you're probably a Jordan guy. For me, I grew up with LeBron. He was my Jordan. So honestly, my Jordan was Kobe. But if not Kobe, then I would say LeBron. But we have the 2021 Space Jam movie set. Hey, they gave us the box. That is sick. Got a little Toon Squad LeBron or the Goon Squad. There's no like Goon Squads on here, Parker. But it's Toon Squad or Goon Squad. Oh, it does say that. It does. <laughs> This is the 2021 set. I figured we'd do a perfect video to compare the 1996 toys at McDonald's to the 2021 series at McDonald's. They literally did the same campaign that they had back in the original movie. How many years difference is that? 15. No. Bro, I was born in 96. That's 25 years. God, you're old. You're older than me. Uh, yeah, you're old. <laughs> So the thing is, in this movie, what's at stake is actually LeBron's son. You know, phase member. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to go do things, okay, but he wants to do his own thing. LeBron's like, no, man, I'm LeBron. You're going to be a basketball player. But the son's like, no, dad, I want to twerk and do TikTok videos. But the thing is, dude, is like, if your dad's Mozart, what are you going to do? Deliver pizzas from Domino's? Like, you make fucking music. <laughs> I mean, obviously, everybody has their own life. You do what they want. But that was the stakes in that movie. LeBron had to get his son back and also defeat Al. G rhythm, which is the algorithm. Anyway, going back a couple of years, 96, we're gonna start right here. Let's get started. We're gonna go with the first one out of here. I mean, I can't even remember a lot of the characters from the 96 one, but I've loved the movie growing up, and I mean, I can't wait for that nostalgic time trip. Let's do it. Can you do a good Marvin the Martian impression? Is that how he sounds? I think it's something like that, yes. I I know, know, yeah, I remember a little Marvin the Martian. That's a little uh, hermity. I, I could do a really good Herman impression. <laughs> <laughs> I claim this planet in the name of Mars. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Marvin the Martian right here. And for some reason, it's so crazy because Marvin the Martian, when this movie came out, wasn't the biggest character. But I would say Space Jam as a whole kind of made him kind of like a hype beef classic. You know what I mean? True. Like he's always in merch nowadays and people love anything to do with Marvin the Martian. But here's the original figure. And what did this one do? So as he rolls, the ball goes up. Oh, that's sick. So he's literally bouncing on the ball. <laughs> For 1996, not bad. So that's our first piece right there. And you know what I'm noticing, dude? Oh, they connect. I never had. Did you have these when you were a kid? The 90s. I was born that year. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, I did not. But when you did the Toy Story ones, I had some of those, and those were 96 too. You had an older sibling, so maybe. Oh, maybe. maybe. You had an older sibling too. Yeah, like, that's, I forgot about him. I forget about him every day until <laughs> some point. Until I see his ass. <laughs> but there we go. We got Marvin the Martian right there. Moving real fast. <laughs> oh, yes, dude. We got the Tasmanian Devil himself. <laughs> And he's got to do a spin with it, right? Yeah! <laughs> that one is so sick, dude, because you almost do imagine doing like a vertical 360 windmill into the hoop. Oh, yeah. I mean, so far, we do a lot of mule toys in this channel. I mean, maybe they're all role related. Back then, it was probably, you know, just like, hey, something that works. <laughs> doing something. So there we go. We got Tasmanian Devil. And also Tasmanian Devil, famous for people in the 90s having him on their mud flaps. <laughs> <laughs> if you saw a guy with a Jeep and his fucking back wheel mud flap said, Back off! You backed off, okay? Oh my god, man. And next character we're gonna be pulling out uh, brought more sexual energy into our generation than I'd say even Nala. The lioness. She is a queen. Why you gotta put fucking eyeshadow on a lion? What? You're confusing my penis. <laughs> <laughs> What am the man supposed to do? So then you get Lola. It ain't Patricia. It ain't Mandy. It's Lola. How much sexier of a name can you get than Lola Bunny, man? The heartthrob of the hoops, Lola Bunny. And this character was actually developed for the Space Jam movie, which is really, really cool because, you know, as you guys know, she appears in baby Looney Tunes, she appears in the regular Looney Tunes shoes. She's like full blown a part of Looney Tunes now. And it was all because of her appearance in Space Jam. And what does she do? She kind of just spins and says, hey, here I am doing my thing. <laughs> that one's kind of a miss for me, but it's pretty cool. I hope the 2021 ones have a little more action involved. Oh yeah, you know they're all be battery powered. But I mean, compared to we do a lot of toys we've opened in this channel, these are kind of just like very like promotional. There are eight toys from the movie Space Jam starring Michael Jordan. But let's go ahead and put these together now. Wait a minute, dude. We can get this whole thing moving like one big parade. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. <laughs> let's do it. Oh, next up, Daffy Duck. Let's try that again. That's <laughs> swingable. <laughs> <laughs> we got Daffy Duck right there though. I'm pretty sure his is just gonna go, yeah, side to side. Damn, he's like, Brrr. that is such a weird mechanic. <laughs> Okay, we're keeping it moving. We got four of them set up so far. Okay, here's our first Monstar. Oh, do you remember this one, dude? Before they got turned into the full-size Monstars, they were these little, like, weird dudes. Remember that? So his head just comes out of the little suit, man. Literally, nowadays, I can never see somebody with a trench coat without seeing there's a little kid underneath there somewhere. <laughs> like, that in freaking Foster's home, I cannot see that any differently. Oh, the green machine, dude. That was definitely the most intimidating of the Monstars. Oh my god, I completely forgot that all the Monstars, they got their powers from actual NBA stars. Oh, are, isn't that what they have kind of named around, too, or no? They do have names for them, and I think his was, like, Patrick Ewing? Yeah, it was Patrick Ewing! You know, the thing is, people always talk about Charles Barkley's performance in that movie. I'm gonna talk about it. It was bad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen NBA players doing post-game interviews? What makes you think they'd be in a goddamn fucking movie? Uh, it's great on both sides. So both, uh... Great. Obviously, I'm just joking. Who freaking asks people questions after they played a full court game? Interviewers. Yeah. <laughs> but I gotta say, Charles Barkley, Patrick Ewing, I can't remember all the athletes that were in the movie, but I know they got their powers from athletes. And I gotta say, the green one, Mr. Uh, Patrick Ewing, definitely always scared me as a kid. <laughs> Next up, we got Tweety Bird right here with Sylvester the Cat. Okay, that's actually the best one so far. It's Sylvester trying to catch Tweety, which is absolutely classic, of course. I say, we get a ladder. Wait till the old lady out of the room, then grab that word. So wherever Tweety goes, Sylvester goes the opposite direction. <laughs> so here we go, let's put that one in there as well. And last but not least, who do you think is the last character? Probably be Bugs. Cause there's no like real life thing yet, so it's probably just all the tunes. Oh, there's no real life thing yet. How about you show a little respect to this young man? <laughs> <laughs> I cannot see anything wrong with him. Oh, I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna sell him movie tickets. 
Oh my god, dude. What if this is like a game? Like an actual basketball game? Oh my god, the other one has a hoop too! There's a full court maybe! So we have Bugs doing a slam dunk on the freaking hoop, which is freaking sweet. And he's spinning around doing a 360 on it. That makes no sense. I got, I got it. It just like, they, let's make him do something, <laughs> and that counts. These toys definitely were very marketing, you know, like, let's get some pieces out there. But these are not the most well thought out ones like we've no, seen no. in the Toy Story and some of those episodes for sure. But now let's connect all of them and see if we can see what this thing makes as a full thing. Then we'll go to the 2021 ones and we'll see which one stomped the other one. All right, so we got the whole thing set up. And like I said, dude, like a parade, you can get all the characters moving in their own pieces. So we have a whole little parade piece here, which is pretty Freaking sweet. That's definitely satisfying for someone who went out and collected this. Yeah, to put all of them on your shelf just like that is pretty damn sweet. I gotta say, I like them as a collectible aspect and I like the designs, but their functionality was very boring. Oh yeah, sure. Yeah, so okay, I'll give that one, I mean, we've never done this before in one of these, but I'll give that one like a six out of 10. Yeah, and I won't ever do this rating system again for another one. It's just because we're doing a direct comparison to the 2001 one, so now we can get an idea of like where our minds are. I felt like that was a six out of 10. So let's see what we do in the 2021 ones to see where those compare functionality wise design wise let's see what 25 years of meal toy technology has done for us all right so first off and we in part were just talking about this is like they put more characters in here and that just goes to show like how much more important the marketing is nowadays like back then that could work you know a little eight piece set you know collect all the figures are good now you need like 20 of these figures you know in order to have any kind of chance of people going out to collect them it's true so right now first one we got from 2021 we have the road runner and off the gate you can see the quality oh my God. that is almost like damn Damn near vinyl. <laughs> we'll get another character that's from this line so we can compare them directly. But I mean, just look at Daffy be compared to this freaking Roadrunner. This is 1996 versus 2021 right here. Oh my God, this technology is very similar to the 96 one. I think this is a callback item. We have the Roadrunner, which dribbles the basketball. I think that's way cooler, more accurate. This is just like, oh, we made something spin. This is like, oh, we made this look like a Roadrunner is actually dribbling that. Yeah, that's cool. I already want to collect these ones more. <laughs> and that's coming from a guy who likes collecting stuff in the 90s. These ones just aren't really hitting it for me. Okay, so let's try and look for a character that we have in that set. So who should we do? We'll do Martian the Man Manhunter? Martian the Manhunter. That is not his name. That Marvin the Martian. <laughs> I was gonna wait for it. <laughs> hey, they're all green men to me. I'm just saying, if you're watching this and you're green, I can't stand you, okay? And if you're not green, hit the like button because you're normal. <laughs> 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 but here we go. We got Marvin the Man. Uh, we got Marvin the Martian, not Marvin the Manhunter. <laughs> So look at directly, you know, we got 1996 versus 2021, dude. Look at the difference in that. That is so freaking insane. Do you realize 25 years from now, they're gonna have like Funko Pops coated in gold inside <laughs> of meal toys. I'm sure that this costs just as much as this costs now. Just the quality and what we can give and deliver to each other and the resources we have gotten better. So here we go. We got Marshall the Man here. Let's see what he does right here. We got a little basketball that sits right here on the other. Bah! I was not gonna lie, I thought that was gonna hit you in the face. I'm disappointed. But it's not the hardest shooting ball for sure, but at least it has some functionality to it. And what I will say I like about it is it's actually a little bit of a pivot for him to actually shoot. Cause if you guys watch Martian Manhunter in the cartoon, he shoots just like that. His legs tight together and his hands tight together. But there he is. <laughs> we got Elmer Fudd though. Literally one of the best characters in Looney Tunes. Let's check him out. Aw, dude, check it. <laughs> nice. You can actually put his hat on. Parker, is it rabbit hunting season or duck hunting season? It's uh, it's rabbit hunting season. He's it's hunting. duck hunting season. He's hunting rabbit. It's duck. It's not walk. It's rabbit. It's duck. <laughs> duck season. Wabbit season. Duck season. Wabbit season. <laughs> but we got Elmer Fudd right here, and we got the hoop. But let's see what all this comes out to be. And oh my God, this is so sick. This is like a dunk machine. So you put the hoop in here, but when the basketball goes in, the hat comes out, dude. You got a freaking arcade at home. <laughs> what the hell? All right, Parker, hold me. Hold you what? I need help with my self-esteem. Hold me. Uh, no, I mean, hold this. Oh. <laughs> it ain't duck season or rabbit season. It's swishing season. There you go. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it bounced right out. But there we go, we got the Elmer Fun. I gotta say, man, that's one of the coolest meal toys you've ever seen. If you have two of these, you can play an actual, like, oh, first one to 10 game. Yeah, and you know what I think it is? I think it's the, no the one saw that. we did. <laughs> but I think it's the repeatability. Like, you can do this for a long time and not get bored. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead and take a shot, Parker. Yeah! Did you make it? <laughs> <laughs> Let's do fetal position, Daffy Duck. You wanna see what I look like in the morning? 
<laughs> it's this. It's this on repeat. And then I put my clothes on, I go out the door, and I try to make a date. <laughs> but there we go. So relatable. And then we got the basketball right here. Damn, look at all these balls. Yeah, but what does he do with it? Like, I'm trying to see how this works. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> you gotta squeeze his legs together. Kegel exercises. <laughs> it's just like my stepmom. What? Uh, nothing. He's just he reminds me of somebody I love. All right, so here we go. We got Daffy Duck, and again, comparing that to the 1996 one, I mean, it's no comparison. The quality is just all day. I ain't gonna lie, though. I do, the, oh, well, kinda hard to argue with that. <laughs> I gotta say, I like the outfit on this one better. Yeah, that one does have a nice outfit, man, but this is that modern blue. When it looks like a hue on Instagram, that's when it's modern. Like, it looks good on him. Shut up, someone does it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing looks good on him but him. This Daffy's like the new Woody. Shut up. <laughs> Actually, this is a message from Woody from the uh, Toy Story video. Who hit that like button? You did. <laughs> that was the greatest. That was a great. Everybody loved the Woody. Honestly, like top five, like all time favorite toys. Yeah, I mean, this one for me, the Elmer Fudd, honestly, is up. Oh my god! You can get the Daffy and interact with them. But let's see if we can get this little. Oh my god, that's it. This is way better than the 1996 set. Oh yeah. I mean, All right, so there we go. We got Daffy though, and I like the way this whole set is coming together, man. I gotta say, LeBron James did an amazing job on this set. What, you think he's down there crafting the toy? Dude, he's a one-man show. <laughs> he crafted these toys, he directed the movie, oh. he wrote the script. He literally showed up. He no, did. the thing is, actually, the original Space Jam was a prequel to the, the LBJ one. <laughs> He actually wrote the first Space Jam. <laughs> Point is, is, thank you, LeBron. All right, let's see what we got, man. We got four out of here. We still got a good amount left. Let's see what we got. Oh, so we have the modern day Taz. He looks like a bathroom stall. That is. <laughs> <laughs> So this one is definitely not as cool as the Elmer Fudd one because what you do is this one is you just throw it in there. As soon as it goes in, he closes over it. Oh, it's like an alley oop. No, the alley -oop, alley oop is where you continue to move. I was trying to, I was basket. trying to make it seem better. No, this is like he's you know making a typhoon and tearing it up. But I think the Elmer Fudd one was a way better use of that kind of mechanism. Sorry, Taz. Yeah, lame. But 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 I like that one better than the '96. I, 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 I do, I do. Is that is that my stutter or was that like bugs or you just making fun of me? No, no, that, 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 that's all I was doing was just making fun of you. <laughs> <laughs> this has nothing to do with Porky the Pig. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. We got an actual Discord. Oh, we got LeBron James. He looks like a black animated Hercules. Yeah, I gotta say I like the way they animated him though. Like it doesn't look bad. Like it looks like a Looney Tune. Yeah, no, I agree. Like a lot of times when they make like characters from like real life to animate, they make them look way too good looking compared to what they really look like. Like LeBron looks like LeBron, like, you know? He gave him his LeBron nose, his LeBron hair, his Thanos head. But how does this work? Let's put it all together and let's find out. Oh, I get it. When you shoot it in, it's gonna propel That's him. an alley-oop. But it's already gone in the basket. He's just after the fact. That's called the LeBron alley-oop. Oh, I'm gonna touch the rim after it's already been made. And I get the And points. I get the credit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was his point. This is so sick. So what happens is LeBron cherry picks. He waits for somebody to shoot and then he slams it in and gets the freaking point. That's freaking sick though. I love that one. That's honestly, of all of these, this is gonna be the one that goes in the collection room. Like, really? Yeah, this is the one that just says like straight up Space Jam. I mean, who doesn't need to wake up on their nightstand, get a little LeBron dunk and then go start the day? <laughs> All right, next one. Oh, we got a full LBJ fig. Let's see it out. All I've ever wanted in life, really, is the million oh, dollars a of bad, bad, bad bitch. <laughs> and fucking a LeBron James figure. And right here we have the LBJ. Oh yeah, look at that. It's <laughs> No, <laughs> Tory Lane say, you make it clap. Clap, clap, I make it clap. That is so weird. That's all he does. You don't know what to do with these basketball fundamentals. <laughs> God damn. What does this one look like, Mr. Potato Head, though? Yeah, that was a little too animated for him. <laughs> and shout out to everybody who was still in LeBron James heads off the Walmart LeBron James figures. Some people were selling LeBron James head for like a thousand dollars. Was it selling? Yeah, the black market wasn't ready. <laughs> And I'm not talking about the, the illegal market. I'm talking about the actual African-American community. They weren't ready. Oh. <laughs> but here we go. We got LBJ Damn, right there. Look at them bowling shoes. <laughs> look at those tattoos, man. Your child's playing with a padded up athlete. <laughs> that's crazy. I want to be inked like LeBron. <laughs> like, that's kind of cool, though. You know, back in, like, the day, you know, it was like, they had to hide that kind of stuff, you know? But it's cool that like, he can just be himself and he's got a figure. That's dope. So here we go. We got the next one out. Oh, yes. My favorite. We got Lola Bunny right oh, here. Oh, man. 20 21 sex. What does that look like? Hey, you better chill on that misogynistum. You mean misogyny? It's just misogyny. Whatever, you would know. 
in the 2021 movie, uh, they see those short shorts she's got on? That's not how a business woman, someone who's trying to be the next Hillary Clinton. Is a basketball player. Dresses. That's, what? She got regular old balling shorts now. What the hell? Yeah. You know what? There's more to her than being so fucking fine. Why does her ears look like Naruto's headband and food? I don't know. <laughs> There's more to her than being fine though. She's a damn good basketball player and in the new movie She's like the best player. I gotta say that one. I mean they didn't do anything with her like they were just like that's enough <laughs> She's like, gonna stand there and seduce. No like real talk. Do they give her anything? That's like really kind of weird Okay, so how she works is you just literally put the ball in and you slingshot her ear. That's a little disturbing <laughs> Yeah, that was a little weak, but hey, so cool. We got Lola back in the movie <laughs> It's a lot more fun than it looks. All right Alright, so we got Lola right there, and I saw this Bugs, which I'm pretty sure is gonna have a similar function, but that Bugs is sick. That Bugs well, is Well, he looks like he's, oh yeah, I'm doing tricks. She's just like, I'm gonna fling this thing with my <laughs> muscle ears. So this Bugs, it's just like the LeBron James. It just slides the ball back and forth. Oh my God, like these two next to each other. That's the set right there. Those two next to each other are the most displayable. Oh yeah. All right, we got a couple more left. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yes. We got Yosemite Sam! <laughs> and this is another callback one because this is similar to the original ones where he just jumps up and down on the ball, which literally is what this one does. I mean, we for sure, this has to be a callback. It's identical. Yeah. Oh man, these are just getting better and better! Oh, this is the best one by far! We got the Wily e. Coyote with the jetpack. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that is sick. Let's see if we can get him to go into one of the hoops. So he can literally catapult himself Damn. into the hoop. Now that's an alley-oop scoop. That one's honestly like gotta be one of my favorites. Yeah, because it has this jet piece too, and I'm trying to figure out how this works. Oh my god, this is a stand for it. Damn. Dude, that one is so freaking sweet, dude. That is the most displayable one other than this one. And that one is fun because you can just set it right there and just boom, launch them off. Okay, we are on the last one for 2021. Let's see what we got. We got Sylvester the cat with no Tweety it looks like, which is okay. Oh no. Oh! Now that is what I'm talking about. We have a special ball exclusively for Sylvester that has Tweety on the ball. That is perfect, literally perfect. Let's go ahead and put that on there. And oh, just like that, our man is spinning the freaking ball. You already know him with those nails. He's definitely spinning it on a nail. And that is freaking sweet, man. All right, I don't think it has any questions as to which one was better, but you guys in the comments, let me know down below. Who do you guys think won? Was it 1996 Original Space Jam McDonald's or 2021 Space Jam 2 New Legacy? I'm gonna leave that question for you guys in the comments down below. What was your favorite from the video? Favorite from the video had to be uh, Tasmanian Devil. From that one? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what can you imagine? Honestly, no, the, uh, I know it was kind of one of the last ones, but the Wile E. Coyote kind of took the cake for me. This one's classic. Yeah, I love that one. I think my favorite overall is gonna be this one, which I never would have expected opening this up that my favorite was gonna be the LeBron James one. But to me, this is the most encompassing of the movie in its whole. I mean, obviously the cartoons are a big part of the movie too, but I mean, you're seeing LeBron James just literally be brought into freaking 2D. It's absolutely amazing. So I gotta say that's my favorite one. Oh yeah. My second would be the Elmer Fudd, but you guys again in the comments down below, let me know your favorite and also which one do you guys think won? If I have to give somebody the victory, I'm gonna go ahead and say I'll give it a 2021. Just because I'm an ending score, I'll give it a nine out of 10 comparatively to the six out of 10 we had over here. But again, you guys let me know in the comments down below. You know the drill. Scan it. guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure you guys are subscribed because you guys do not want to miss the rest of the awesome content that's going to be coming the rest of this week so you guys do not miss that by subscribing and again hitting that bell notification and check out this video on your screen right here which is a video that i recommend for you and it's the spy kids one meal toy unboxing if you enjoyed space jam odds are you probably watched spy kids growing up i'll see you guys over there once you go over there it's going to put you on a playlist of every single episode from spy kids one to shark boy and lava girl so go check that out i'll see you guys over there and as always rep pack i'll see you beautiful people in the next one adios Boop.